This video will cover the automation features in Freshdesk, describe their functionalities, and tell you how you can automate mundane tasks in your help desk. Every help desk includes a set of repetitive tasks that you have to perform every day for the proper functioning of your help desk. Freshdesk makes it easy for you to streamline your efforts by providing you with a set of automations that will let you perform a whole range of tasks automatically. They can be used to minimize the time you spend on managing your help desk and getting it organized. In this video, we'll be looking at the dispatcher automation. The dispatcher is an automation that runs on new tickets in your help desk at the time of their creation. It helps you assign tickets to the right agent group, defining their status or priority or deleting spam. Let us create a sample dispatcher rule to understand how this works. To get started, Go to the Admin tab in your Freshdesk account and click on Dispatcher under Help Desk Productivity. Click on the New Rule button to create the sample rule. You can edit this later on after the rule is created. In the next page, you can start creating your Dispatcher rule by giving it a name and description. Make sure you explain what the rule does here to ensure that you or other admins can understand it in the future. Under Conditions, you can define one or more conditions that the rule will look for in incoming tickets. You can also choose to have this rule run on tickets that match any one of the conditions or all of them. For each condition you create, you can click on Ticket, Contact, or Company icons to choose between one of the three types of fields in your help desk. This will show you all of the respective fields for that type, including any custom fields you might have created in your help desk. Once you are done defining them, the dispatcher will perform all of the actions you specify below for any incoming ticket that matches these conditions. These actions could be anything, ranging from setting ticket status or priority, assigning tickets to an agent or group, to even advanced ones like triggering webhooks in a third-party app. For example, let's say you want to assign any ticket that comes in via your Facebook or Twitter channels to a particular agent. Select your first condition to be Source is Twitter and Facebook. Add a new condition by clicking on the button and select your second condition to be Company is Kelly's Bistro. Under Actions, you can select your action as Assigned to Agent and specify the name of the agent you'd like. Once you're done, don't forget to click Save. This rule has now become active and will assign all of your Facebook and Twitter tickets to the specified agent. Similarly, you can use the dispatcher to create various rules to automate different actions, like setting priorities, sending emails to the requester. Once you are done creating your rules, you can manage them from the dispatcher page. Here, you'll be able to turn them on or off based on your needs. Please note that the order of the dispatcher rules is very important. The dispatcher will run based on the rule which matches first. So remember to arrange the rules based on your priority. This brings us to the end of our tutorial on automations. To learn more about the others, please watch the rest of the videos in this series.